So we gotta move the chicken coop from there over there on its little stand. So we're gonna try lifting it with uh, George's tractor. Putting some straps from one side into the other side. You want me to crawl in there? I don't think I'd be able to crawl in there. My booty's a little bit too big. Come on, crawl in. Uh-uh. Get with it. So here we are trying to figure out how to lift a chicken coop and somebody with a front end frickin' loader just drives by. Like, what are the chances? Got it turned around. The tin got kind of messed up. Brian said that's the kind of tractor we need. Wow, look at that. So getting a chicken wire put around although it's just too wide and I'm gonna have to put some hardware cloth. Today I am putting um, a couple of coats maybe of paint on the outside of the coop. George is helping me build a little door for me to get into the bottom and uh, the rest of the run is gonna have to wait a little bit, like I said, but the paint I think will help protect the the wood on the outside and as soon as we can get that bottom done I, th I think I want to put some of that smaller wire that you see sitting there around there just because of the snakes around here that just sounds to me like a, a better plan all right time to get to paint here we got chicken coop door made lovingly by Brian right Brian Okay. What do you have yet um, left to do on it? Uh, furring strips on the other side, and I am going to put a cross brace in the middle so it doesn't sag. Got the middle brace going in. Oh, yeah. Our YouTubers don't know that I just caught Mason counting from 1 to 12. Well, he missed a couple numbers in there. He did pretty good. So you screw that in? Okay. Look at my pretty chicken pen. All painted. The door is done. George is helping me put the door on today. Uh, that's going to have to open on the right, isn't it? No, the other way. I'm going to put a piece of wood from here to here. Yeah, because something can squeeze in there. Yeah. Yep.
Putting up this door has been a bit of a challenge. We still have a little bit of a space here. We'll fill it with something. We have to fill it with something. I might just extend some wire here. Are you open that door? Open what door? Shoot. We'll have to dig out right here a little bit. Yeah, it hits the ground when we open it. All right, so the coop is just about ready. And right now I am getting the little food container and the water container ready to put in the bottom of the coop and uh, get ready for my chickens to come today. So yay, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that uh, you're getting to see it with me and Bonks is totally video bombing. Yes, he is. What do you think, Bonks? I hope he doesn't want to kill chickens. This is the little chicken feeder doodad that I got. It's called, I don't know what it's called. It's from this company off Amazon called rent a coop So this has a little hood on it, a little plastic thingy that you put on. I don't really know what that hood is for. I actually have no idea what that plastic white hood is. Oh, anti-roost cover. These are things that I don't know yet. I don't know that a chicken would roost on top of a feed thing, but that's my own naive naivety about chickens. Okay, so let's go fill it up with feed and get some water for the chickens. The little waterer I have is also by the same company and it has like little nipply things. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know why they'd really be called that, but that's what it has. And then a lid, a little plastic thingy that goes in the lid, like so. And then another one of these anti-roost lids. So I'm going to fill the water thing up with water. Um, just so you know, our water here is from a really interesting source, but hold on, I'm going to turn the water on. Uh, our water is actually from the mountain, so it's a mountain spring, and it's, it's above our house quite a bit, and goes into a spring house that is on somebody else's property. Ooh, there's a lot of gross stuff in here. Let me dump that out. Clean. Okay, so our our water comes from up the mountain, and it goes through Brian's system. We have like a filter on there and stuff like that. It doesn't it doesn't like kill bacteria or anything like that, but it's super cool that this water comes from the mountains. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we're getting the water ready. Next is food. All right, I have you over by the coop. And that's where I have three garbage cans. I think they're 36 gallon metal garbage cans. And that's where I'm putting their feed. So I will take this and show this to you. So I have one labeled starter, one labeled scratch, and then the other is, this is regular feed when they are laying. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get laying hens or hens that haven't started laying yet. So I will save the feed until um, that time. So I'm going to feed up, feed up, fill up the feed bucket with scratch and starter, and then we'll set it over and get it ready to go in the pen. Here I am down by the coop. I had to like take a hammer and scrape out dirt and rocks so that the door would actually open. So you'll see it's, there it is behind me. And I'm going to put the chicken feed in there and the chicken water and then call for my chickens to be delivered. So stay tuned. George brought up my chickens. Let's see. Hi guys. Hi. You're like, what's the going on? I don't understand. Okay. 
because I've never held a chicken in my life. You grab them by the legs? Yeah, just like that. <coughs> then when you hold it, just get it like that. Put your fingers between his legs like this. Okay. Where it feels safe. As long as it don't feel like it's going to fall or anything, it'll behave. Hi. Oh my God, this is the first time I've ever touched a chicken. Ever. Hi. Are you going to be a nice girl? She's behaving. She's just like chilling. Mm -hmm. Wow. The more time you spend with them petting and stuff, the tamer they'll be. Okay. By and the way, like, this is George. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> like, uh, you can get them where, like, they're not stupid. They'll learn stuff. Like, they'll get to where when you come out here at night, they'll meet you right here at the door to be put up know. if you do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I figured what I'm going to do at night is give them a treat of mealworms. I got a little bowl for them. That way, they know that when they go up, they get a treat. So we have the four girls and a boy. Well, hi. What do you think, girls? What do you think? Are you, are you excited? Okay. The thing now. is, you just, just, like when you do put a bug or something in there, and like one of them picks it up, all of them have to chase it. Yeah. The one with it. I think one of those boards, you know, like the, the pallet boards, right there. I had a hard time check getting the rooster out so Brian's gonna help me he's hard to catch go in there and catch him I got the rest of the hens up there yeah I realized after getting the hens today That's what I mean. He's just tough. Okay, open the door. Yeah. This is a bad idea. Yep. This is a horrible idea. Yep. Okay. I can't get over this. I can't get over the step. I can't get over the step. So the hens and the rooster are all up for the night in the top part of their coop. And the lesson for today is that their chicken run needs to get done so that they can have their own little chicken ladder to go in and out of their coop because I about killed my back trying to get those hens and I couldn't get the rooster. But they're happy for their little treat. Good morning from the homestead. A pretty little animal joining us this morning. I can't tell if that's a, I think that's a female, but she belongs to our friend, Ralph. Last night, George and Brian were working on getting a, the, a ladder installed in the coop for the chickens to be able to go in and out, up and down, because uh, doing, catching them and putting them up in the top was just really painful. Let me move this stick out of the way uh, for my back. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'll go up in the top and show you. This morning, one female hen got down by herself without her little ladder. The rooster also went down. So he cut a hole in the bottom of the coop but this is just isn't a lot of room for them to get down. So we'll have to modify this a little bit. But so far, so good. Good morning, girls. There's mealworms down there for you. So if you're brave, you can go get your mealworms. Yeah. <laughs> 